Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's in reverse. Oh, that's freaky. So this is my mural. It's a fake window. See? It's all the same. And it's a view that would maybe be here if there was actually a window on this wall. Um, so um, I was trying to do a video earlier. I'm actually making this piece of marble slab, the window coming out, sort of to match the one on the window on the other side by the wall. And um, so, but I took a lot of liberties here because of course the window is huge and it doesn't have any brake support. And in Tuscany, where I am right now, they don't have large windows so often. Um, but I didn't want to break up the view. So anyway, it's my window. I can do it as I like. <laughs> but okay, so I'm, I put the computer on the stand and I'm not touching it because I don't know enough about technology to know why it didn't work. So um, I hope this is going to work again. So a quick review. This is an old Tuscan wall. Uh, a stone house. Um, it used to be above where the animals stay. And um, I painted the mural in acrylic. However, this part of the wall, the orangey part, which looks really blue on my screen, but anyway, uh, bluish cold. Um, it's kind of a pale Tuscan orange. And this is a different sort of paint. And it's not acrylic, but it looks a lot like uh, chalk. You mix it up with water and you have to mix it every time you use it really well. Um, and I'm going to be painting that on here because I don't want to mix the acrylic with the, the this undercut too much. I am going to put a shadow under here because I need the three dimensions. Um, you wouldn't get that if the object was coming out at me. I would have a shadow either from the light outside or just from the light above. But either way, I would have some sort of shadow. So first, I'm going to go in and, and do the paint this up here. You, I don't know if you can see that from here, but I have little pieces where the concrete color is sort of coming through. This will take several layers, but it will actually be opaque for almost everything. So um, what I was trying to explain earlier today is I'm using acrylic paint. I use, in front of my dark hair, I don't know if you can see how long this bristle is, but where's a regular paintbrush? I don't know, maybe that's a regular one. Um, dark, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I use a long one because as I'm pulling along, it gets out all the wiggles. Has a better chance to anyway, because I'm really good at wiggling. And also, when I'm trying to do something really straight, besides having drawn the line 4,000 times practically, I don't think my landlord, who was my assistant yesterday, helping me redraw the lines, was impressed with my idea of measuring. But um, I always touch something on the art or something that touches the art, because if I don't touch it, I have no idea where I am. So I've been doing this, that's what I was doing in that first video that looks pixelated. And I'm leaving a wee bit of a lighter color here because I kind of want the marble to be bevel looking. But right now I'm just playing because I wanted to get the layers to cover up this, the cement part. Um, so I was saying earlier that I don't use acrylic paint very often. That's something that my mother likes and um, I see why people like it. It's easy, it's clean up and all this. But um, anyway, but for this wall, it seemed like it was a perfect solution to do what I wanted to do. So um, what I'm, I'm not good at it because I don't have a lot of experience with acrylic matching, but acrylic colors get darker uh, when they um, dry are dry. So I always have a problem getting exactly the color I want. I'm not really a perfectionist in color, I'm more interested in relationships and, um, I don't know, be a little bit different. But I also know that I'm using a fairly limited palette and so that kind of brings a cohesiveness to it even if I botch everything else up. So what I was trying to do today, can you see this corner? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to put in the relationships between all these things because this is the ledge coming out at me, so I have a top plane that's getting some light from the window here or even from this room in the room. Uh, it's going to get darker as it gets toward the wood because it'll, the wood, this wood is front, so it's going to have a shadow, but I'll do a gradation from there to there. This is my horizontal plane. As I said, I'll add a shadow here later that'll be softer and translucent over the color that exists already. Um, so I want to look at this. This is the wall that's going in. I don't know if that shows very well on the video because I have it quite light. You can see it maybe up here. Um, 
So I can see that I need to get more light on it because this should have more light than this. And if I put too much light on here and it blends in with this, this does no good. I don't know if I'm making sense at all. Oh, am I getting comments? The transmission is pixelating. Too bad. Uh, oh, I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Does that mean I have a sucky camera that's on my laptop, perhaps? Hmm. Okay. Um, I'll have to ask about that. Um, all right, I don't know if you can hear a voice or not, or if I should continue, or maybe I should stop it, but I'm working on the 3D of this thing, and I want to finish it so that I can have an open house on Sunday and Monday. Um, check you later, and thanks for tuning in, and I'll try to get my technology act together. Ciao, ciao, and grazie. Ciao, ciao.